are some bulk materials, intermediate hanger bearings in a screw conveyor are an insurmountable obstacle. For others, even the smallest clearance between the screw and the trough housing may cause unacceptable friction or even jamming of the screw. In such cases, SSC type spiral conveyors are the most suitable solution. The shaftless extra heavy duty helicoid flighting, which is supported at only one trough end, slides on an extremely wear resistant synthetic trough lining. SSC type spiral conveyors are able to handle materials classified as difficult in an extremely gentle way at different angles from horizontal to vertical. Spiral diameters ranging from 150 to 500 millimeters with flight thickness up to 25 millimeters facilitate throughput rates up to 65 cubic meters per hour with sludge and up to 25 cubic meters per hour with screenings if the conveyor is installed in horizontal position. According to size and length of the conveyor as well as the material handled Installed drive power ranges from 0.55 to 7.5 kilowatt for standard units. While trough housing and spiral are made of carbon steel or stainless steel 304 or 316, the trough liner is made of ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. SSC type spiral conveyors are widely used in most different industries for a variety of materials with high moisture content and a tendency to stick to center pipe and flighting in traditional screw conveyors. Heat and gardening refuse as well as municipal and industrial waste, fruit flesh, peelings and cores, pips, as well as fruit and vegetable waste. Chaff cut sugar beet, its wash residue and beet pulp in sugar houses, fish processing byproducts as well as fish meal, screened floating waste and dehydrated or conditioned sludge in effluent treatment plants, mixtures of pressed grains, malt, barley, residue from washed bottles and bottle labels in the drinks industry, processing residues and byproducts, waste packaged in tinned foodstuffs, pastes and creams in the food industry, food leftovers and refuse in the catering and restaurant trade, minced meat, byproducts and residue from wastewater screenings in the meat and sausage processing industry, animal byproducts, entrails, bristles and skin residue, feathers, bones, hooves and claws in abattoirs, pulp and paper strips and paper mills, municipal and industrial refuse, ashes and granules in sludge drying plants, as well as fertilizers, various powders and granules and shredded synthetic materials in the chemical industry are among the most significant applications. Compared to traditional screws, spiral conveyors offer a few great advantages. Odor-free operation, little maintenance required, easy access for cleaning and washing, high degree of self-cleaning, problem-free handling of materials which tend to stick or get tangled up in screws with center pipe, extremely wear-resistant flighting and trough lining, easy replacement of parts thanks to a small number of components, Versatility due to modular design. Why you should choose WAM's SSC type spiral conveyor. Because we only use helicoid screw flights made by WAM Group Associates Spico. Because Spico manufacture flightings made of carbon and stainless steel 
up to diameters of 800 millimeters with up to 30 millimeter flight thickness with an unrivaled tolerances. Because on request, the spiral is guided by angular shaped side channels. Because the liner is kept in place by the trough channel only. Because WAM's worldwide sales network guarantees optimum spare supply and competent after-sales service. Series production of SSC spiral conveyors guarantees an outstanding price performance ratio. At an industrial level, quality control is essential at each stage of the manufacturing process. The ISO 9002 quality system certification gives the client the assurance that the equipment he's going to use has been checked and tested in each phase of the manufacturing process. Quick delivery is guaranteed thanks to a large amount of stock of components and parts at the WAM factory in Italy and at the company's worldwide subsidiaries. During the following part of this video, please pay attention to the special safety notices. On receipt of the consignment, check that the goods are in conformity with the invoice and with the acknowledgement of order. Handle all material with care. Remove the conveyor and its accessories from the packaging and from now on strictly follow the supplied instruction manual for handling, assembly and installation. Support and fix the SSC spiral conveyor as specified in the manual according to the type of installation. Before starting the SSC spiral conveyor, please remember the following notices. Never put your hands inside the spiral conveyor while it's running. The electrical connection with the main supply must be carried out by qualified personnel only. Before any kind of repair or maintenance work, disconnect the electric motor from the mains. Before electrical connection, Ensure the electric motor plate data and the voltage supply match. Ensure the conveyor has been appropriately supported and solidly fastened. Remove any foreign substances from inside the conveyor trough. Ensure the conveyor spiral runs clockwise viewed from the drive end. If not, reverse wiring of the electric motor. Before adding materials, start the empty conveyor and make sure it runs smoothly. Only then add material and proceed with regular operation. Remember conveyors must never be flood fed as the installed drive power only suits controlled fed material loads. The SSC spiral conveyor cannot function in a standalone capacity. It is therefore prohibited to place it into service until the plant in which it is installed has been globally declared to conform with the requirements of the European General Safety Directive for Machines. The only wear parts to be periodically replaced are the trough liner and, if powders are handled, the shaft sealing gland at the drive end. To disassemble the liner, either remove the trough bottom or the side panels of the trough. The old liner will easily come off and allow the new one to be inserted without any effort. On reassembly, ensure correct fit of the liner. For substitution of the packing of the seal gland, remove the gland and replace the worn packing. During assembly of the gland, ensure the adjustment bolts are not fastened too tightly as this may result in the packing being excessively squeezed.